We've got to talk about what happened in Arizona on Friday night with the Ducks leading 5-zip late in the third. After a scrum in front of the net, the Coyotes' Jay Beagle went after Trevor Zegras, who had scored another unbelievable lacrosse-style goal earlier in the game. Then Beagle went after Troy Terry, who came in to defend Zegras, and this is how it was described on the broadcast by Coyotes analyst Tyson Nash. Uh, that's the problem sometimes with these young players. You want to embarrass guys and you want to skill it up, you better be prepared to get punched in the mouth. <laughs> What'd you make of those comments <laughs> okay. or the whole incident? First things first, I enjoyed the back and forth between Jen Botterill, Kevin BX, and Kelly Rudy on Saturday night. It's worth a watch. We'll tweet it out if you missed it. But I have a different take. The first thing I have to say is skill it up is one of the stupidest things ever uttered. Like Coyotes color analyst Tyson Nash said in hindsight that he should have said hot dogging. I would say yeah, probably at least. Now, it was April Fool's Day. Make of that what you will. I would also say that Jay Beagle should be suspended. He started swinging on a dude that didn't want to fight, which is a match penalty in the rule book and not enough people are pointing to at this time. You fight someone who doesn't want to fight, it should be a match penalty. Instead, 10-minute misconduct, five for fighting, two for roughing for Terry, by the way. He got two for roughing for getting his face punched in. Literally. And even hockey that tends to defend overt physicality to a shocking degree, even hockey kind of agreed, pounding on a guy that isn't engaged has no business in the game. Now, chalking this one up to the code, as some have, is cowardly. It's a way of saying you don't understand what we're talking about, and it's also flat out wrong. Beagle just lost his ish and wanted to beat on someone. Mm -hmm. Again, hockey can't have people thinking that they are judge, jury, and executioner, especially people who are wrong like Jay Beagle in this spot. And how the linesmen don't recognize in the moment or the referees don't recognize in the moment to tell the linesmen to jump in there is on the game too. But I would also say let's stop with this overblown shock on Twitter and TV immediately following things like this. Like folks acting like this happened in a vacuum. Oh, it was just the Zegris lacrosse goal that pissed off Phoenix. And not mentioning the digging at a goalie in a 5 nothing game mm -hmm. with just over five minutes left in that game. That misrepresents what happened here. Even then. The idea in any sport that grown-ass men who are among the most competitive on planet Earth are going to be okay with getting their ass kicked and maybe embarrassed won't lose their mind once in a while once in a while is comical. Like, it's honestly comical. Guys lose it all the time in men's league at a couple of million dollars, and of course... Guys are going to take some things to heart, even when they're not meant to be, and step over the line. I hate to break it to some of you, but that's exactly why the code exists. I know a lot of you think that you're smarter than 100 years of hockey players, baseball players, or basketball players, but they are the ones who created and alter the unwritten rules. As much as you want to be a part of it, you're not. The code actually exists to keep the idiots in line. The problem is most of us don't understand it. It's hard to define and it's ever changing, but that doesn't mean it's stupid or that it shouldn't exist. The code is meant to be honorable. Like ask those who know the code well, not the meatheads who just wanna see a fight. Ask the guys who know it well. It was Beagle who broke the code. He pounded on a guy who doesn't play that way. That is dishonorable. Now, here's where the league is. If the NHL doesn't step up, the Ducks have to. The Ducks, as an organization, have to say that beating up our skill guys is not allowed. And how do you do that, no code people? By scoring on the power play? Horse bleep. You dress someone who can beat the snot out of Beagle, and I didn't want to say snot, 
because that's the only thing that he'll listen to. And there are way more guys like Jay Beagle who will only listen to an eye for an eye than most of you would like to admit. So if that's the case, and we truly don't want this in the game, then either the NHL has to come down hard on Beagle, guys like Beagle, and incidents like this, or, and hear me out on this, the league knows and wants the vigilante justice in the game. Because that in the end, if the suspension doesn't satisfy the Ducks, then that in the end is how we know all of this is going to play out, whether you like it or not.